Hi, I'm Tiffany from e320designs.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a picture into a silhouette so that you can cut it out on your Cricut or your Cameo. And to do this we're going to use the Inkscape program and if you don't have it, it is absolutely free. So you can go over there and download it and come back and join me for this tutorial. I have placed a link below this video. So let's get started. As you can see, I've already turned this chandelier into a silhouette so that I can cut it out. But I'm going to take you over here to Google and show you a couple of things that you're looking for when you're choosing a picture to turn into that silhouette. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is choose something with a totally white background. So anything like this, unless you know how to remove the background, don't even look at it. It's not going to happen. So, um, totally white background. Keeping that in mind, if this chair had like white stripes on the cushion, you don't want it because anything that's white is going to change into something that's transparent. And that part of your chair is going to be missing. And the last thing I want to point out is that, let's say we didn't have the shadows under this chair and it was a totally white background and you really like this chair, but this chair, because of the lines and the shadows, of course it looks 3D. Well, we know when we turn something into a silhouette, it becomes a two-dimensional image. So you're just gonna to wanna to look at the outline of whatever it is that you want to change into a silhouette and by the time you're done with this one it's not going to look so much like it does now it's it's kind of going to look like a block with some legs on it so keeping those tips in mind look around for a picture that you want to change into a silhouette and we're going to go over to Inkscape and do this really quick I'm also going to post a link to the blog post for this in my blog. I will have the instructions typed out step by step. So depending on the way you learn, um, you can go over there and grab those. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is go up to File. And we're going to import an image. And for this one, I am going to choose the watering can because I think it's super cute. So I'm going to open that up. And all of these are defaults. They just come up like that. Just click OK. I want to move this over. And to move things around in Inkscape, you're just going to hold down your left mouse button. You're going to move it around. Um, <coughs> You'll notice your arrows change. One make, makes it bigger. One will make it rotate. So you want to click on this and make it bigger. Hold down control on your keyboard and just pull this with your left mouse button. I'm just going to make it bigger so you can see it better. With your image selected, which means the box is around it, we're going to go up to Path and trace bitmap. Now, these three things up here are default, and I'm just gonna keep them that way. These, I've changed. I've already changed them before. So, I've got it at 20 scans. And scans are like images, one on top of the other, on top of the other. The less you have, the different, it's not going to be as complete. So if there's three, you're going to see all these white dots. And those would all become transparent places in your silhouette. And, you know, that would be a cutting nightmare. It would be a weeding nightmare. So we want to turn up the scans until those are gone. Um, 13 looks good. We can push it up to 15. That looks great. Um, I select grays, uncheck smooth, check stack scans, and check the remove background. 
and if you're happy with the way it looks up here in the preview just click OK and then we can X that box out now it's going to put it right on top of the picture that you imported and with this selected you're going to go up to object and ungroup you're going to see a whole bunch of boxes come up and each one of those sorry that's my dog um, each one of those is another image and it's images on top of images do not click anything in the workspace just go to path and union and it's going to put all of those images and make it into one and there it is there's your watering can I'm going to make it black so we can see it better and you see it lines up Ta-da! Okay, so if you want to check your work, you can go over here to View, Display Mode, and Outline. And then you'll see how your Cricut or your Cameo is going to cut around this watering can. Um, go back up to View, Display Mode, and go to Normal. We're going to ignore the chandeliers. We're going to act like they're not even there. Um, when you're saving this, you do want to click on this and delete the, the original image. Um, and then we're just going to go up to File and Save As. If you are a Cricut user, you save it as a plain SVG. If you are a Cameo user, you want to save it as a DXF file. Click Save. And then this other box is going to come out if you save it as a DXF. Don't touch anything in that box. Just click OK because it knows what it's doing. I've saved it once before, so I can replace it. And there you go. It's pretty simple. Like I said, if you miss something and you don't want to keep rewinding it, I have posted the step-by-step -step instructions on my blog, and the link is down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I appreciate you taking your time to hang out with me.